Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So let's begin. Um, somebody, somebody has made a bad decision. Okay. Um, a wrong choice. Um, and they're very burdened by... Uh, by this realization this um, they've lost something um, and now it's like they don't know because of a decision they made uh, they're experiencing loss and grief uh, grief and worry um, they're emotionally drained it's a situation that uh, it's it's like it's my fault it's like I did this you know and and now they've got the a guilty conscience and not only that it's like they want to get this person back they want back what they lost there's deep regret for a decision that they made you see uh, it's coming with the card of burdens they they gave something up by making a choice um and and i mean it's possible that somebody did indeed give some gave something up uh for something else uh and ended up regretting it that's a very strong possibility here we have this card of poverty that's uh sitting here on top of all of this um it could be uh <laughs> the light just went out interesting and so um this could just be this person in misery um it could be uh feeling lonely unhappy down on their luck feeling unlucky in love uh, and feeling powerless between these two cards here this one and this one feeling powerless to be able to change uh, their circumstances or that they're simply afraid to because of what they've done you know they may feel there's no going back but yet uh, they long to go back Somebody, the moon is in the reverse here. Um, and so somebody is, um, in, um, let me see. It's like they're, they're unable to navigate their way through the death card. <laughs> okay, so... Um, to in order to get to the light okay so that that's what it is they have to do this journey within okay and there's the path and there's the light at the end of the path there's the transformation that death brings but uh and see there's the light and there's the light you know they must do this journey um back uh to the past go over the journey there's something really important to be learned there that could shed light on this whole thing all right so but they they're feeling unable to navigate their way through this energy uh, it's like of course the light cannot be seen at this point but this card saying it's there you know go in faith and, and find it And so um, they're unable to deal with emotions that the ghost of the past, you know, uh, bring bring out, or 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 uh, the emotions of these past uh, ghosts that are like lurking in the, in the shadows. Like I can't do this right now, or I'm not ready right now. And, and so uh, they run from them. But running from them is the wrong, wrong choice. They, I mean, they, they need to face whatever this is because it will lead them to the light, to the clarity they need. It's 
the harder choice. The other way is easier, of course. Uh, this is the harder choice, but it is the right one. Um, this is about a decision. Um, okay, so with her being here, um, this is uh, about the heart, heartfelt, heartfelt things. Um, wanting to end this very painful period. It feels like this person, this loss, it's like this person, they basically uh were devastated um and it's like they they had to be carried off the battlefield here and and it feels like it's not the first time there have been other times so what the cards are saying if they wish to recover what they've lost they're going to need uh, past lessons. So uh, they, that's why they need to, to do this journey. They need to use past lessons. They need to use that and what they've learned from this experience in order to recover what they lost, in order to uh, proceed. That's what they have to do. They have to go back and refresh their memory on, on, on their lessons and use the current lesson, what they've learned, in order to proceed because they keep writing down things and crossing them out, writing them down, crossing them out. They're procrastinating. Um, card of experience if they want to this, this is about an apology maybe they don't really know what to say um, they don't know what to say they don't know how to proceed and well 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 with her they're telling you to speak from the heart because she's about heart-based words so listen to the heart and speak from the heart and be honest so be honest in the part that one played in in this and about their true feelings there's prudency looking back looking looking back looking within <clears throat> going within looking back there's look at the snake there's wisdom to be gained there having to do with the handmade of coins in reverse now the handmade of coins in reverse is somebody who's emotionally wounded uh, somebody who's vulnerable <clears throat> most likely not just because of one experience i mean it could be one bad experience but most likely with this uh, ten of swords here and i see swords on the ground um and i see swords lined up like some ceremonies taking place here i feel like uh it's happened m more than once you know go and get those lessons go and look at them if you didn't get the lesson it's time now to go back and relook and and uh take the lesson okay and take it forward because those things are going to help you navigate your way through this energy something that see there's the the moon you had it in reverse this is about navigation okay currently you're unable to do that oops it goes this way but if you do this 
and you listen to your heart and you get those lessons and you speak from the from the heart uh, you will be able to recover that which you lost you must be truthful not just with yourself but with this other person this is about clearing things up um, you may want to explain something to someone or they wish to explain something to you whichever way this energy is going um, this could indicate um, seeing that truth or finding that truth and that allows you or them to see something in a new way looking back at disappointments looking back at a broken heart and um, yeah looking at this person's looking over their shoulder um, they've been carrying all of these swords all this time and maybe this is how they actually this this fellow's about to hang himself and so that's probably how they ended up here in the first place and so uh, now they need to get rid of those swords the things that are troubling them the things that hold them back you know it's time to release them because they're draining you with the vampire here It's like mm, you may have given your power away and now you feel like you can't get out of it um, or simply that you made a bad decision and now you feel like you can't get out of it and this is emotionally draining you. Um, you're feeling powerless. Both these energies are saying the same thing and I see now underneath that vampire we have the moon and she's saying that there's something you're not seeing. Pythia is also here, so there's something, um, you're not listening to your intuition, and especially that it's on the moon, okay, because she, Pythia, she is about the intuition, and so is the moon, and there you go, the um, matter and spirit card says that you have all of the right information already, you're just not applying it. And so, you or them, okay, whoever this energy belongs to. You're going to get communication, okay, if this is happening to you. Otherwise, it's the other way around and you're bringing this uh, communication to the other person. And so, she's sitting here in expectation of that at that window so somebody is expecting they're sitting they're sitting down or they've been sitting down waiting for somebody <clears throat> to to return to them and to bring them uh, an opportunity in order to change the status of this situation or the status of this relationship Well, <laughs> Eight of Rods and Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, the communication's coming. If you're waiting on a sign, the Rider, look, you got the Rider, the Flowers, you've got the Eight of Wands, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Swords, Six, uh, oh, look at that, <laughs> oh, Three of Cups. So definitely, there is uh, some very emotional news that is coming to you that was sitting right under the Ace of Swords, okay? And um, Eight of Wands, Ace of Hearts. So definitely, um, somebody's getting a new opportunity here uh, in love. There are messages coming and they're very, very, the person's very serious. I feel this is this person uh, that wants to tell you something. It's very, very important. They seem to be uh, very, very serious about this. Um, so they want to explain something to, to you if it's happening to you. Otherwise, this is you and you want to explain to somebody else, okay? 
um, you want to perhaps apologize uh, to somebody else for a bad decision perhaps that you made. Um, there's definitely an explanation coming here. And uh, so somebody's sitting in expectation and what this uh, symbol means with this together Somebody's sitting here very, very worried because the next card is imprisonment. They're very, very worried. And so it comes with the rider. And the rider says, if you've been waiting for a sign, that's exactly what she's doing. Look, she's at the window waiting. Waiting for who? Waiting for this man. <laughs> here, there you go. Waiting. He brings news and opportunities, okay? He talks about a status and change, a change in status. And this is what she's hoping uh, will happen. It's what she's waiting for. And there's the writer. If you've been waiting for a sign or a message, this is going to deliver it. It's coming. It can come by word of mouth, written communication, email, text. Um, they could just show up at your door. And I don't feel that you have long to wait for it. Okay, because this, this horse is running. So it's, it's indicating speed. Uh, this is also uh, speed. But it, this is no light message. This is very serious message. And uh, it's like they're anxiously waiting for this response. It's coming with the with the bouquet. So you're going to receive, if it's happening to you, you're receiving some something or news that makes you very, very happy. It could be a small gift or it could be news or information, um, an offer, an apology, an invitation, um, something unexpected when the flowers show up and uh, they're following the horse so the rider when they show up just know that all is going to be well okay if it's not it's 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 definitely uh, going to turn around here <clears throat> So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.